Okay, so how do you know what type of automation you need? Determining what type of automation you need really depends on what is the trigger going to be based on. If it's something that is going to happen um, based off of an action or um, something that occurs within the system. So, for example, a label being added to a card or a card being created on a new list or something like that, then you're always going to want that to be um, uh, one of the rules, one of their generic rules. If it's something that is gonna happen on a regular pace, so every Monday or every Sunday, that's always going to be a scheduled automation. And then if it's going to be something that is based on when something is meant to be completed, so when it is due, then that is going to be a due date automation. Now, but one thing that is a little bit counterintuitive here is if you're talking about the moment that something becomes due, the moment that a task becomes due, that's a due date automation. But if you're talking about the moment that a due date is marked complete, that is an action instead of being related to time in any way. And so that one becomes one of the rule automations. OK, so think of it from that perspective. If it's something that you could manually do, like adding a label to a card, marking something complete, creating a card on a list or moving a card to a list, things that you could physically manually do, then that's gonna be one of the rules automations. Anything that is time specific is going to be either scheduled or due date, depending on whether or not it's based on when it's due or just every single time that that time of the week comes back around. Does that make sense? And then as far as the button automations, there are two kinds of buttons that you can create. You can create a card button or you can create a board button. And that's relatively self-explanatory, right? If it's an action that you want to happen case by case, so only for particular cards at a time, then you're gonna want a card level button. But if it's more of like a bulk action, something that you wanna to happen to all of the cards on that board, then you're gonna want a board level button. And the reason that you might choose a button automation versus one of the more automated <laughs> automations is really going to depend on your process and how you work, right? It, most of the things that you could turn into a button could very well also be um, an automation that runs on its own based on a schedule or something like that. So it really just depends on how much time you spend on that particular board. Um, there are some things where, you know, they might be a regular occurrence, but they're not like clockwork to the level of being able to be scheduled at the same day and time every week, right? Or every month or whatever that might be. So you might need a little bit more flexibility and it's more just about when you have the time or when you make the time to do that thing, you wanna be able to push that button and perhaps push out the date or whatever it might be. Um, just based on, it gives you a little more flexibility. Let's just put it that way.